The second wave of first round games in state high school basketball tournaments getting ready to tip off. We've had a number of postponements due to the weather, but we should still be able to get out to several games tonight, including the Dunmore girls. The District 2 Class 4A champs, always one of the teams to watch at this time of the year. And since COVID wiped out their previous two playoff runs, the Lady Bucks have all the motivation they need. Yeah, I mean, this team's on a mission, you know, and this was, it was good to, to, to be back and to sort of control our own destiny once again with just being on the court and letting things sort of get decided on the court. And uh, this team is, is really hungry right now, maybe the hungriest team I've ever been around. So um, looking for special things coming up. Dunmore faces Shemokin area tonight in the first round. We'll have those highlights plus many more on Eyewitness News at 11. And more big news regarding quarterbacks in the NFL. Now, Eyewitness Sports. Day two of the first round of high school state basketball tournaments. There were some postponements due to weather, but most games were full steam ahead. Same bracket, Dunmore taking on Shemokin without star junior Sierra Toomey sideline with an injury and the Lady Indians keeping it close early. Carly Nye hitting a three from the corner. That tied the game at five. Later in the first, Mariah Murray answers back as she often does. The Drexel commit with a three to put the Lady Bucks in front. Second quarter, more from Murray, this time on the drive. Powerful move in the lane. And then we're going to watch Sophia Toledo getting two on the nice drive to the hoop. Dunmore pulls away for a 51-25 win. In class single A, Northumberland Christian taking on Greenwood. 